points about transformational leadership. They tend to be inspirational. They are very influential. They also intellectually stimulate you to a point where you feel like you could learn or you could do or you could perform better. The subject that I have for this video or for this project, I believe that he possesses all of those qualities. I am going to talk with him in just a few minutes and we're going to talk about his leadership style. about your title and your position and what you do. I am the senior manager of B2B and indirect learning and development for the South Central Market. What, give me your definition of leadership. You don't have to have a title to be a leader. The ability to recognize everyone's innate, innate ability to take someone else, someone somewhere else, okay. or guide them or help them get somewhere else. It's about bold leadership. How do you communicate um, the goal or the expectations to your team? I like to paint the picture of the vision. What we're about to embark on, what we're about to try to do, here's where we want to be, or here's the space that we want to operate in, or the area we want to be in when we, when we get there. Now let's talk about all of the details, the strategy and the tactics. I like to take a, a real collaborative approach, leverage different people's strengths, leverage, leverage different people's experience. Would you say that you're good at delegating? I do believe in delegation. I do believe in handing things off. I do believe in trying to give people opportunity because the team's not about me and the success of the team is not about me. I'm just trying to surround myself with people that are a bunch smarter than me and are strong in the areas that I'm weak in. Do you have like a standard communication strategy? Yes, I have a communication strategy. I try to be as transparent as possible. Anyone who knows me knows I'm going to ask as many questions, which is why I don't mind questions being asked of me, because I'm going to clarify. When it comes to your team, how do you go about the process of motivating them? Create a culture in your environment. What motivates you is not going to motivate your peer. But if you are getting what motivates you, if you, if your family is so important to you, and that was one of the things um, you know, when we worked together, is uh, you know I, I just always knew without fail how important spending time with your son, spending time with your mom, those things were to you. How do I help everybody here get to where they want to be? Defines success for your team or as a team. Okay, so two answers for that. What defines success for me for my team? is A, the aspect of individual success and individual achievement for each of the people on the team. That's probably the most important. And then the group success, the, the group win. The very first question I wanted to ask, because um, it seemed fitting to start here, would be, can you tell us a little bit about what your definition of a leader is? My definition of a leader is someone who motivates and inspires and seeks to find the best in each individual and bring that out, whether they know that's something that's there or not. Please, by example, someone who has great forethought um, to kind of see into the future and lead and direct their team. Amir was probably the most influential male corporate friend figure that I could ever have had. He's, um, directed an impact of my life in many different directions, whether it be personal or business. And that's kind of what I've meant by someone who seeks to know who you truly are and helps you to reach your goals. When someone inspires you on that level, I feel that you work harder for them than you work for yourself. You work hard to make sure that they're proud of you. As a trainer for Texas Children, it inspires me to not write them off, to say, you know, well, they don't know how to send a professional email because maybe no one's taught them. You take them under your wing, you lead them and guide them, and, and it inspires me to see where they can go. On a final note, I'd like to say that one of the things that I appreciate the most about his leadership is that he actually taught me how to be a better leader and how to be a transformational leader myself. One of the things that I believe that has been a result of his transformational leadership is the fact that I became an entrepreneur, and I thank him for that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my project.